criteria. So let's see what is the problem. So a problem is that by using the roots criteria, we have to find the stability of the system which is represented by the following characteristic equation. So this is the characteristic equation of the system. So let's try to solve this problem. First, see that is there any coefficient of this characteristic equation, it is missing or it is zero. We are having all the coefficients. We are having s to the power 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So all the coefficient from s to the power 5 to s to the power 0, they are present. And there is no sign change in this equation. So uh, first, we will determine the characteristic equation. It is already given to us. So characteristic equation is Starting from the highest power of s, highest power of s is 5, we will form the root array. So root array will be, second step is the roots array. It is s to the power 5, 4, 3, 2 and here s to the power 1 and s to the power 0. Now, Coefficient of s to the power 5 that is coefficient of all the odd terms will be written in the first row. So it will be 1. Coefficient of s cube will be 3. s to the power 1 is 16. Then s to the power 4 we will write the coefficient of all the even power of s. That is s4 is 1. s square is 9. And s to the power 0 is 10. So we have formed, we have written these two rows. Now the elements of next rows, they will be A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, C3 and D1, D2, D3. How we are going to determine these variables A1, B1, C1, D1, all these variables. Let's see, A1 will be given by this 1 into 3 minus 1 into 9 divided by 1. So 1 into 3 minus 1 into 9 divided by 1. So it will be 3 minus 9 by 1 that is minus 6. Now A2, A2 will be 1 into 16 minus 1 into 10 divided by 1. That is 1 into 16 minus 1 into 10 divided by 1. So it will be 16 minus 10 by 1 that is 6. A3 will be 0 because we are not having further any terms we are not having. So A3 will be 0. Now B1, B1 will be what? A1 into 9 minus A2 into 1 upon A1. So A1 into 9 minus 1 into a2 upon this a1. So a1 is what? Minus 6. So minus 6 into 9 minus 1 into a2 is 6 upon a1 is minus 6. So it will be 10. Okay, when you solve this, it will be 10. Then B2, B2 will be here, B2 will be A1 into 10 minus A3 into 1, A1 into 10 minus A3 into 1 upon A1. Okay, 
So when you solve this, you will get the value of B2 as 10. B3 will be equals to 0. Now C1, C1 will be B1 A2 minus A1 B2 upon B1. Put the values of all the variables. B1 is what? 10, A2 is 6, minus A1 is minus 6, and B2 is 10. Upon B1, B1 is what? 10. So when you solve this, you will get the value as 12. Okay, because 60 plus 60, it will be 120, 120 by 10, so it will be 12. So C2 will be, C2 will be what? B1 A3 minus A1 B3 upon B1. Put the value of all the variables, you will get C2 as 0. C3 will also be equals to 0. Okay. Now B1, B1 will be what? Here we are having the array. So D1 will be C1 B2 minus B1 C2. C1 B2 minus B1 C2 upon C1. D2 will be C1 B3 minus B1 C3 upon C1. And D3 will be 0. So D1 D2 when you calculate their values D1 will be equals to C1 is what we have calculated 12. B2 is 10 minus b1 is 10 into we are having uh, here c2 so c2 is what 0 upon c1 c1 is what 12 so d1 will be equals to 10 when you calculate d2 it will be 0 and d3 will also be 0 so we have obtained all the variables of this root array put the values of the uh, all the variables in this array so we will get root array as this is s to the power 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and 0. It was 1, 3, 16, 1, 9, 10, then minus 6, 6 and 0. Then we have B1, B1 was 10, B2 was 10 and here 0, C1 was 12, C2 was 0, C3 was 0, D1 was 10, D2 0, D3 0. So we have put the value of all the variables and we have formed this root array. Now check the number of sign changes in the first column of the root arrays. This is the first column. First variable is positive, positive, negative, positive, positive and positive. This is positive to positive. This is positive and negative. So there is one sign change here. Then we have negative and positive. So there will be the second sign change. Then we have positive to positive, positive and positive. Then we are having total two sign changes in this first column. So two sign changes indicates indicates two roots lying in the right hand side of s plane that is it is the s plane this imaginary axis this is real axis and two roots are lying on this side that is having the positive real part and if the roots they lie on the right hand side of the S plane, then the system is unstable. So this system which is given to us in the question, it is an unstable system. I hope this problem is clear to you. Thank you.